If we take a trip down memory lane back to the year 2000, which coincidentally is the year I was born, yes I'm 22, Google was exploding in popularity during this year, it really got its start. And for the entirety of my life, the absolute entirety, Google has been the main way you explore the internet, which is probably the most influential technology we've seen thus far in the human race, so that's kind of a big deal. Google is a huge deal. Nothing's even come close to beating Google in popularity. Of course, people like Microsoft have tried with the Bing search engine, but of course, the top search query with Bing is always Google, because everyone wants to use Google. However, yesterday, Microsoft plans on changing that. They're going to be using the power of OpenAI's ChatGPT technology. It's actually better technology than ChatGPT. They're incorporating it into Bing and they're trying to take the fight back to Google and it's really really interesting. The keynote little presentation they held yesterday shows off some truly amazing capabilities that we've never even seen before with web browsing. So I'm going to take you on a trip through the news here and we'll explore what this is all about. So basically the TLDR of the keynote is that in the Bing search engine on Windows, ChatGPT or a better version of ChatGPT is actually incorporated directly into the search interface. So I really recommend you guys watch the keynote for yourself, but you can see when you actually create a search in Bing now, the chat feature of Bing is now also going to try to give you an answer. So you can either click on a link or get a more direct conversational natural answer from the Bing chat. And yeah, I mean, this presents itself exactly like ChatGPT style technology, but it actually does seem to be more impressive than just ChatGPT right now. That's what they said in the keynote, by the way. They're using a better version of ChatGPT, like GPT-4 type technology. Very, very interesting and exciting. By the way, guys, Microsoft's Bing team isn't the only company out there that actually has access to this OpenAI new technology. Some other companies have access to it, but we can't really talk about that. Some other really exciting capabilities that this Bing search chat has is the fact that it can do some pretty crazy comparisons just by searching the web. Yes, it has the feature to actually search the web like a person and find and grab different information and compare it and think about it, which is something ChatGPT or any text generation algorithm that we've seen so far hasn't really been able to do. So this is pretty important stuff. And it's able to take this IKEA love seat and figure out if it can fit in the back of a 2019 Honda Odyssey. And it even goes further saying that you're probably going to have to fold the seats down to get it to fit. And the interface here actually looks really nice. I know it's a little grayed out, but you'll see it can write really, really long lists of stuff. And it can say, oh, you can learn more from these three websites. It's actually citing its own sources. And, you know, there are follow up questions, which we've seen with a few other AI technologies in the past, too. For example, Quora actually released their own quote unquote chat GPT like AI. It's a free app and it has follow up questions just like this. So there's a lot good. There's a lot of text AI stuff going on. It's worth mentioning that this is something we've seen before and it's a nice feature. In this example, it's giving us the pros and cons of the top three selling pet focused vacuums. So it's able to help people narrow down what they want for purchasing options. And I'm sure this can go very deep saying like, oh, it needs to be a pet focused vacuum. It needs to be under a hundred dollars, for example. And I'm wondering if it can scour the web and find you the best deal, no matter what, on a certain product. It's definitely something I'm going to be testing when I get access to this. They also showed off this incredibly cool feature here where you're able to just go into the separate chat function. So this is just chat, and no basic searching at all. And it, as you can see, it swipes right up and then you're basically in like chat GPT version 2.0 with more features and better capabilities, especially the ability to actually search the Internet. You're able to refine the same searches and the same queries from before. It possesses the same refinement capabilities that chat GPT already had. It's also able to create itineraries for vacations, for example, or probably itineraries and lists for anything and really the, the capabilities are endless with this stuff. It's like ChatGPT, but now you can do even more stuff. Because of that web search functionality here, you can see it's actually making a trivia game, which is very impressive. You can expect this Bing chat to be a lot more factually accurate than ChatGPT is just because it can search the web. The AI has been released onto the web.
And for all of you programmers out there, it actually still does possess the same coding capabilities and probably better coding capabilities than ChatGPT already possessed. So yeah, this is this is some advanced and exciting stuff. The reason that Microsoft's able to actually go ahead and have all of this capability from OpenAI is because they're directly partnered with OpenAI. They're doing a lot of investing in OpenAI and really funding their research as a whole, pretty much. They're definitely by far the largest investor in OpenAI, and they work very closely with them. I'm not going to go too deep on Google's response to this because honestly, they didn't really respond much at all to Microsoft's new chat Bing function. They did unveil that they're going to have their own chat bot known as Bard, but really Bard, at least right now, seems more like a chat GPT clone, which there's already chat GPT clones out there, by the way. So Bard would be nothing new. And in their presentation, they actually messed up an answer with Bard. Bard answered incorrectly. The incorrect answer by Bard here was about a telescope and which one was used to take the very first pictures of the planet outside of Earth's solar system or exoplanets. So, I mean, that's not very common information, but still it's messing up an answer here. And I guarantee that Bing's chat function would not be messing up answers like that. So it's very disappointing and Google stock actually took a hit because of it. So guys, to get access to this Bing chat function, I mean, this is going to be better than chat GPT. So I think a lot of people are going to want to access it. Uh, I'll link it down below, but essentially you have to sign up for a wait list here for Bing, but they do actually let you kind of try it with pre-made questions here. So you just click try it and you can see it working on the side here. So in this example, you know, it's giving us a three course menu with a chocolate dessert, but it's vegetarian only. And, you know, they have follow up questions here and we can kind of see what uh, everything's going to look like. But of course, we don't have access yet because we're on the wait list. So I will definitely be making a video on this technology once it releases out to us. If you set the Microsoft defaults on your PC and install the Microsoft Bing app, you actually move up on the wait list apparently. So if you guys are really excited to try this, I would uh, do that. Oh, and this was the cherry on top of the presentation, by the way, guys. You can actually open up a PDF or a web page or any interface inside of the Bing app now. And with the chat feature, you're able to search and scan the different information on that specific web page you're looking at. So. That's very, very crazy kind of technology there. It's like, oh, what are the key takeaways from this particular PDF document? Or can you find me this section of the PDF? Can you find where it says this in the PDF? And they even take that a step further by searching through this PDF for certain information and then having it go out to the internet and get more information to directly compare it with. So it's able to really do a lot of heavy lifting here find out the key metrics from this document and then go search out and find another company's same exact metrics for the same year. Very, very powerful technology. I think this is really going to create a revolution in the way we interact with the web. I mean, if, if this thing catches on, Google is in trouble. Or if Google can provide a substitute that's just as good or better, maybe it can stay on top. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick recap on this whole Bing chat event. I think it's really interesting. I'm excited for this AI revolution. We're really delving in now. Uh, people say the AI wars sort of have begun here with Microsoft taking the first punch at Google. And it, yeah, it seems like it's going to be a Microsoft versus Google AI fight right now at the moment, but they're not the only companies engaging in AI. Facebook's got their own AI division. So does NVIDIA. So yeah, there's a lot of big players here in the AI space, a lot going on. AI is a, is a huge technological revolution that's coming in the future, but thanks so much for watching folks. Check out some of my other videos and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this tech. I'm very excited to test it out. See you next time.